very hot. It's getting tasty. I'm scared to taste hot. Let's taste. Yeah. Yeah. You want it hot? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Spicy Africa. You call it culinary journey, and I said delicious Gambia. Hello and welcome to Tripping, where we celebrate people, culture and diversity in Africa and beyond. My name is Adachi Uchenda, reaching you from the smiling coast of Africa. And to really experience the habit of this lovely people, we're here to have a real Gambian experience at Yaboe. And then this is where she stays and we're going to have a wonderful, wonderful experience. Somebody here? Hi. Hey. 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 I hope I'm not late. Ah, I am. Just just meet you, my Okay. But you can change. Okay. Okay. I can choose. Yeah. Okay. Feel at home. All right. You can come and change inside. This is nice. Here is where you can learn okay. about the real Gambian culture okay, through its food from I scratch much. using traditional yeah. tools the real Gambian way. So I can say we have a lot of calabashes here. Yes. And everything I'm using here is local. Everything is Gambian made. All right. Because as you know, I'm exercising sustainable tourism. Okay. And this is why and even the rice you're going to eat today is local. And this is it from your farm? This is no, no, no. I bought this from the market, from um, Tanger Market. And the reason why I use Tanger Market is these people, these ladies are so hardworking. Most of them have gardens, and they use this money to support their families. So that's why I go to Tanger Market. One thing about uh, Gambia that I know is that when we talk about responsible and sustainable tourism, I think they've done a great job, especially in West Africa. What do you think, Robin? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. I am in an association called ASEC, Association of Small Scale Enterprises and Tourism. Okay. And um, we have about 80 members, and all of us are doing sustainable tourism. Oh, in right. Oh. Though we are small, but very important in the tourism industry because we are the creators in the industry. <laughs> you know, you know, this was part of the experience, Hena. And Hena is very natural. You know, some people use nail polish, but we do the, we do it the natural way. And that is very natural. It's a leaf yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, it's the leaf. We dry it up. If you dry it, then you use it. Use different kinds of designs. You can use different kind of designs. I think it should have been faster if we're using chopping board. But I know chopping board is not part of our culture. But I think it's made of wood. Yeah. What do you think? Even yeah, you know. we don't know it. Okay. Yeah. And just this like is what we know. Knife. Yeah. <laughs> we do everything with our fingers. Okay. Wow. Still our members, asset members, and that outside is metal. Everything is made by our members. Okay, and from here the ash comes out. Yes, yeah, ash comes out from there. And if you want it to be, if you if you want to lower your heat, you close it. To lower the heat, the heat you close it. And open it when you want to find it, or if you want to, to you are cooking to be very fast, you open it. Mm. So in cookers, you have, you have a regulator, and here, this is our regulator here. <laughs> we we regulated here. And that's, <laughs> that's good, that's very good. Okay. Nice. Also, having the opportunity to cook with a Gambian family. I'm living with my, my sister in law, I've got three boys, and my husband, I live in Kofo. And visit local markets where locals buy the ingredients to purchase ingredients for your classes. Well, Robbie, you're looking so beautiful. Yes, Atoria. You went to market with this? I did. I changed right when I got here. We went to the market and we walked around and it was right by the ocean. And there were so many people in so many colors and there was babies around and little and there's cats around and everyone was saying hello to me. Wow. And it was great and we bought fish and tomatoes, carrots, 
um, onions, rice, nuts, fruit, coconuts. We bought a lot of stuff. Oh wow, that was a really wonderful experience. It was, it was. And Ida let me pay for some of the stuff and then carry some of the stuff, so I felt like I was a part of it. So it was really fun. <laughs> well, it's amazing. Yeah. Okay, actually, I think uh, what she's trying to do here is to make it feel part of her family and then have a real Gambian experience and that's what all of us are going to be having at the uh, boys apartment today and then at the end of the uh, tr trust me I'm going to steal the recipe and I'll see, you, I'll see you after the break this is tripping celebrating people culture and diversity in Africa and beyond Okay, without wasting your time, we're ready to go. And what we have here is pepecon. Pepecon looks like this, right? And garlic. And that's what we're pounding here. And then I just said it's for the onion sauce that will be used for fish yasa. <laughs> and that's what we're cooking, by the way. I didn't tell you we're cooking fish yasa. And so this is part of the thing we'll be using for the fish yasa. One thing is that in Africa we're used to pounding. I'm not sure, Robin, are you used to using mortar and pizza? No, well, we, we have that, but they're this big and you, you just use it like very little. Okay, the little one. Yeah, or or you just use you use a crusher or something, but not usually. This is very African. Yes, and this thing, I think it gives it a kind of different taste. Yes, <laughs> I think it's more natural. And with garlic, you're supposed to crush it to make it like the most flavorful. So I think this is the best way to do it. Yes, this is the best way. And yeah. so that means you have to get this, some of this when you're very Yes, I'm going to show my dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's, a, it's not going to be any hard work because I'm used to pounding. Back home, I'm used to pounding, so it's not really any hard work. Have you tried pounding? I have, yes, I did it before. Now get your writing materials ready for a culinary journey of a lifetime. And what do we need? Peppercorn, garlic, pepper, plenty of onions, carrots, tomatoes, bitter tomatoes, aubergine, and okra, which is of course optional. Salt, and of course, our rice. The Gambian food is nearly as popular as its scenic surroundings. With such delectable items on the menu, tourists who come to the Gambia are often captivated by its fire and spice. Okay, let's talk about this yasa. Mm -hmm. All the time I've been in the Gambia, I've heard of uh, uh, chicken yasa, mm -hmm. fish yasa. Is it the same rice that you use in making benichin? Yes, the same rice. Okay. The same rice we use for benichin, but as I said, yasa is originated from the Jola tribe. All right. The Jola, they cook yasa when they have their traditional, when they have ceremonies, that's what they cook yasa. Okay. Yeah, it's originated from them. Okay, and so um, how many tribes do you have here? Wow, we have over 10. Over 10 tribes, and they all have like different kind of different kinds. Different kinds. Okay, for uh, you are from where? I'm Wolof. You're Wolof. Benichin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I also know that Wolof and, that, and the Senegal, they have Wolof. Are you people related? We are interrelated. Gambia and Senegal are interrelated. Senegambia. Senegambia. Yes. Just the Europeans who come who are interested in the sea yeah. and those were interested and the French were interested in the agriculture. That's why they divide us, but we are interrelated. I've got so many um and how to call it related relatives in Senegal, in Senegal as they also do here. So okay. we are all interrelated. Okay. Which one is your delicacy? Benichin. Benichin. I love both of them. Benichin, Yasa, Domoda, Super Kanja. <laughs> and we have Cherembu, we have Base, we've got Nyambe Nyebe. We've got so many kinds of Gambian food here. And they're so healthy, good for your body, and everything is fresh. Okay, you must love food. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy what I'm doing. And that's why you're looking very healthy. Yeah. And this is how we grill our fish. Like that. Wow, so you bought the fish fresh. Fresh. Everything is fresh. Even okay. the biggest vegetables we bought is fresh. I was told that Gambia is known to eat frozen food. We don't. <laughs> Everything is fresh. Okay, but is it the juice spice it or something? I just put lime and salt. That's all. We're going to make a pepper sauce that is going to be on the side. Right. Because I don't want it to be very spicy because some people don't like very spicy food. 
So with this pepper sauce, it's going to be on the side for mm -hmm. those who want it spicy. Okay, yeah, all right. So we're going to pound this together with garlic. Okay. Then we have a pepper sauce on the side. Okay, together with, with this one here, yeah. what we have here? No, that is for the onion sauce. Okay. This is going to be separate. Separate. Yeah, we all are right. going to pound this together with garlic for a pepper sauce. Okay, sauce. why would you want to use the garlic? Because I know that most people don't like the smell of garlic. I, I always ask before I put it in. Okay. I love garlic. And you, you know, garlic is very I good. cook with a lot of garlic. That is very good for you. Okay. Very good. Yeah. All right. I can see we have here uh, because onions. it's a uh, uh, onion sauce, mm -hmm. and then so you usually use plenty of onions for yes for yasa. Okay, for yasa. For yasa. And it's going to be white yasa. Yes, it's going to be white yasa. For the chicken yasa, it's a bit different because with, with the chicken you have to season it with um, mustard, lemon, garlic, pepper together and vinegar together and leave it for a while in the fridge before okay. you grill it but with fish yasa you just need lemon and sea salt I'm now pounding the garlic and the pepper for the hot pepper sauce as I said some people don't like spicy food so this is going to be on the side for those who want it hot this pepper is so hot. Mm. This is pizza. It's sorrel leaves. You boil it, then smash it like this. Add salt, and it's going to be on the side. Okay. It's a complement of the food. Our rice is so starchy, that's why we first wash it and stir it and we wrap it with that, with that roll so that the, the, it will keep the steam the steam won't come out that's a whole lot of process <laughs> our cooking takes time that's why when you taste it, it's wow <laughs> <laughs> okay. with the sea salt from the Gambian water the Gambian Ocean is the warmest ocean I've ever been in. I've been in Hawaii and Caribbean and Mexico. No water is as warm and as beautiful as the Gambia water. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe how warm it was. I am now putting the carrots in. This is nutritious too, but also to give it color so that you will have the rice with a nice color as well. The Gambian food is fresh, delicious, and a feast of color. And fragrance, where skills and tradition go hand in hand. This normally grows near mangoes, right. near swamps. Okay, so now that you put different kinds of perfume, so how do you use this particular one, the powder one? I just put it in there. Okay, so you put it there. I just tried some of the pepper sauce. I could not believe how just cover, put Yourself. something there and cover it with your clothes so that your clothes will have nice scent. Okay, what kind of perfume do you normally use? We have different types of perfumes in the market. And all these local perfumes. Okay, most of them are made in Senegal. Okay, because I remember when we were in Senegal here, I smell this. Mm -hmm. And somebody said it's uh, incense. Yeah, true. Yeah. Incense. Now I understand it's not incense, it's a true right. It smells like incense. That's so what I, I've smelled it several times since I've been here. I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. But it's very stunning. Yeah. I love this smell. Yeah. yeah, it's not a, the sm it's not harsh. It's no, it's not harsh. No, it just it kind of calms you down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even for this one, it's, it's medicine, it's good for women. It washes you, washes you up, it washes you the night. Just wash it yeah. and put it in water and drink it. I drink that. It's good time. Truly, culinary travel is one of the fastest growing industries in the world. If you doubt, look at the recent growth of food shows and television. More people than ever now care about the quality of the food they eat. Not just at home, but when they travel as well. You know, this is mustard. And this mustard, it mustard kills. seed. It's mustard seed. Mustard paste. Paste, but yeah. it's made of mustard made seed. seed. Yes. And this is made from Senegal. If you put the mustard, because this pepper is so hot, 
if you put the mustard in, it kills the hotness. Why? What do you want? What's, why are you killing the hotness? I want it to be hot. What what do you what I, that's what I want. If you try this pepper, our pepper is so hot. Mm -hmm. The pepper we had in the garden, it's so hot. You can try it. Now you can make your own pepper sauce when you go back. Yes. It's just garlic, pepper, mustard, and a dash yeah. of oil. This is very hot. And a pinch of salt. Hot to the nice. It's very hot. You can taste it. I'm scared to taste it. This tastes good. You want it hot. So hot. <laughs> Welcome to Spicy Africa. Yeah. We boil vegetables separately because I want it to be a balanced diet. With, but with yasa, normally we don't put vegetables. Yeah, what, what, what kind of vegetables is that? We have different types of vegetables. Um, I bought, I bought bitter tomato, aubergine, and okra. Aubergine, mm. yes. I am putting everything now. Okay. okay. Then I put the tomato. Now I'm covering this. Leave it for 10 minutes. Then it's ready for to serve. That setting is for those who cannot sit on the floor. For the senior ones. Yes. For the elderly. Yes. It's lovely, mm -hmm. this place. The last time I came, you didn't have here. No, it's new. I'm now expanding. This experience is becoming very popular. All right. So that's why I'm expanding, so that I can have at least, because now I, I used to take only 10, but now I can take more than 10. Okay. And this place is so beautiful. It's really, really, really beautiful. Okay, I hope you're having fun and enjoying the experience. I am. I'm just very excited to eat now. Okay, just like me as well. I am so hungry. I'm dying to eat the food. But if you ask, when you get back to New York or South Africa, wherever you're going to, if you're asked to do the same, will you be able to cook the same food? I can. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to do it as good as I can. I'll do my best. Uh, okay, yeah. it's alright. But well, don't worry, I am on my cookbook. Okay. And it will soon be out. Okay, good. Yeah. I'd love to get oh. a coffee. And for the truly committed food lovers, learning to replicate a destination's regional specialties can be a more fulfilling travel experience than hitting the renowned tourist sites. Mmm, tastes good. Okay, now that it's done, I have to put lime. Yes. Okay. Because of the fish, right? Yeah. Okay, the rice is okay now. Yasa also is okay. Now we're going to this house. And Yasa too, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to eat. I am dishing the food now. What does Yaboy mean? Yaboy meaning mom. Oh, mom. Mother, I named this after my mom. And I bet your husband has been very supportive. Yeah, he is. He is. If you book this experience, I can collect you, I can do the hotel transfer. That is to collect it from your hotel and take you back. Okay. okay. If you go to Gambia Experience website and see what to do in the Gambia, I'm there. Okay, and this is aubergine. This is aubergine. Okay. These were the vegetables that were boiled. That's okra. And we used the stock for the onions. Okay. This is bitter tomato. Bitter tomato. Bitter tomato. Yeah. It's bitter. The tomato is bitter. Yeah, it's bitter. Wow. But I think you have this in Nigeria. I have here is a it's, a, it's a complement of the food. This is the one we are building in the in the calabash. Okay. See, it's a complement of the food. Right there. And I'll show you how to eat with hands. We eat with our hands. We don't eat with hands. Because I was almost asking you where are the spoons. So this is ready now. Alright. Oh, wow. wow, the food is ready. Oh my gosh! Wow! <laughs> the spice is very spicy. 
take a little bit of everything. Okay. This is very nice. Very nice. Like that. Those who want it hot, mm. that is hot pepper sauce. Put it in me. Okay. It's a very mm. hot and warm. Why is you doing it? Bon appetit. <laughs> this is really, really good. How did you start this? Um, I've been in tourism for about 20 years and I've got so many European friends. Mm -hmm. So but I realized that anytime I invited somebody to my house, we cook together, they love it. So I kept it in mind that this is what I'm going to do as a business. So that's why I resigned from my job as a general manager of Martin City before my home cooking. A very receptive. Oh yes, they love this idea. Okay. Now it's becoming very, very popular, mostly from England. Oh, because now Zambia experience and Thomas Cook are selling it. Mm -hmm. So Thomas Cook will send people here. Yeah, they send people here. They've been hurt to themselves. Yes, they do. Because you know this. It's also before they start selling it, they have to come and see the product. Oh. Okay. Even the title said to us here. <laughs> Your wife fits you so well. Yeah, she's treating me very well. <laughs> and so what do you do, sir? I'm a trained water engineer, specialized in water well constructions and other water related uses. I'm happy to have Aida as my wife. <laughs> Robin, how do you like it? I really love it. I really can taste the lime in the fish. And I can, when I go home, I think I'll marinate my fish in just the sea salt and lime. It's really, it's wonderful. It's not too much. So Robin, what do you do? I live, I have two homes. I live in New York, in America, and I live in Cape Town, South Africa. Okay. Um, I finished my studying in Cape Town and I do volunteer work there. But then when I'm in New York, I also work for nonprofits um, as well as ATA. Okay, with all the experience you've had here in the Gambia, what are you taking that from? My favorite thing about the Gambia is how safe I feel and how, um, and how much I've been able to connect with the local people. And I think it's special and I think it's important for people in America to know that Africa isn't just one thing. It's not just one place that you see on the news and that's Africa. I tell them that I, people ask me where I'm going, I say Africa and they go, oh, Africa. But Africa is also sitting around a big plate and talking to your friends and eating wonderful food and you know, and, and meeting beautiful people. So that's what Africa is. And I think it's important people know that. They don't know. A lot of people don't know. And you like to share your home with, with tourists from around the world? Exactly. People from different parts of the world come, in, come into us. And I want to thank you both for allowing us into your home. I mean, it's, it's very... It's very intimate for you to just welcome us into your home and share us your food and we food, meet your children yes. and we, we see your home and, it, and it's been a wonderful and day. And your rooms and you know, just be yeah. part of you. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really, really amazing. You must have been in contact with so many nationalities, right? I mean, have you been able to Everybody. learn your way of life and culture? We exchange cultural values, especially when we're having lunch and after lunch, because after lunch we're going to have tea, or oh. Gambian tea. On, on that we converse on exchanging cultural values and okay. I also learn from other people as well. They learn yeah. from me and add, add some spices on it that is giving you clothes to put on so that you'll have the feeling that you're in an African yeah. country. All right. Then Gambian food, mm -hmm. eat it together and exchange cultural values. This tea is called Bombo. It's very healthy, fresh is to you. This is one of the most intriguing and exciting experiences. It's definitely a growing market as a subject of cultural tourism. We've really had a great, great African experience at Iyabwe. We drank tea. What's the name of the tea again? Bottom bottom. Uh, bottom bottom. <laughs> and I have to learn a lot of local names. And we have uh, Icheku in my language. We played some games. We had our tree stick. And we're going to sign <laughs> this. <laughs> yes, everybody that comes here wants to sign this. You know, about how wonderful uh, the experience they've had here aids to them. And have you done yours? Yes, I have. Oh, okay. And then we have here uh, Mr. Ndai, Aida Ndai, our wonderful, wonderful host. I'm just um, 
welcoming everybody to Gambia, especially Yabo, because I have the feeling that anybody who comes to the Gambia should have the feeling that you're in the Gambia, and to do that, you have to come to Yabo home. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Mark Jai. I just say bye bye to everyone. And Ibrahim. Ibrahim Jetta. Welcome everybody to the smiling coast of the Gambia. What do you have to say to my viewers? Just come, come to have Ida cook for you, learn how to cook, get the Gambian experience, you'll never forget it. From me, thank you for watching and I'll see you on my trip next week. My name is Adachi Uchendo and we are reaching you from the smiling coast of Africa. Bye! Bye. Bye.